This is the budget-friendly meal that I make at least once a week. Easy tuna patties come together with pantry ingredients for a hearty, comforting dinner that the whole family will love. Hey everybody, I'm Kelly with Suburban Soapbox and today I'm taking an ordinary can of tuna and turning it into something spectacular. These easy tuna patties come together so simply with pantry ingredients or a few things that you can grab from your fridge. They're super, super simple and really, really quick. They're great for a busy weeknight. So to make your tuna patties, you're just going to need a few ingredients. This is very similar to my crab cake recipe, but so much more inexpensive to make. So if you're kind of craving like a crab cake, this is along the lines of that type of recipe, but it's made with just two cans of tuna. So definitely wallet friendly. So you're going to need two cans of albacore tuna, or you can use chunk light. I have panko breadcrumbs. I definitely am a huge fan of the panko breadcrumbs because they're lighter and crisper than a normal breadcrumb can be. And sometimes I found that breadcrumbs can be a little heavy, and these are definitely not heavy in any stretch of the imagination. You're going to need a little bit of mayonnaise, some chopped parsley, one egg, a lemon, salt and pepper, olive oil, and then for this time, I'm using a little bit of butter for some richness when I fry it up in the skillet. So to make your tuna patties, we're gonna take our tuna and we're just gonna dump this in the bowl. Make sure you get all of the tuna out. It's like kind of stuck in there. And you wanna flake it up a little bit with a fork. So I took this out of the can and flaked it up before I put it in the bowl. You just wanna make sure, just like with the tuna salad, you wanna flake it up pretty good so that your patties hold together and you don't get like a big bite of the dry canned tuna. I don't know how some people can actually eat tuna like right out of the can. I definitely need some mix-ins. We're gonna lightly whisk our egg before we add it. Just add that to your bowl. And then the mayonnaise. Panko breadcrumbs, just sprinkle some in there. And then we need the lemon zest. Some lemon juice, we're just gonna cut this in half. Make sure you catch those seeds. And the lemon juice gives it a really nice fresh flavor and it kind of cuts through with like the mayonnaise, the richness of the mayonnaise. And then our parsley, just dump that in there. And then we're gonna season with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I lightly season the inside, knowing that like my family's going to salt and pepper at the table. So I try not to add too much in there. Too much sodium is never a good thing. And we're just gonna mix this all up. So make sure it's blended really well. And then if you see any big pieces of the tuna in here, just break them up with your fork. Sometimes I missed a couple pieces. If you feel like it's not really holding together that much in the bowl, you can definitely add a little bit more of the panko breadcrumbs. All right, I'm gonna move all this out of the way. We're gonna form our tuna patties into like little cakes and then we're going to fry them up in a skillet. So the size of your tuna patties, it doesn't really matter. I like to make them maybe like palm size, like that. And we're just gonna form them as you would like a hamburger or a crab cake. I'm gonna always go back to the crab cakes because they're so, so good. And I just like to take my thumb and kind of form like a little lip on the side so they cook a little bit more evenly. So, that's our first tuna patty. How cute is that? And this is good if you have small children because you can definitely make some of the patties a little smaller. If dad wants a big giant patty, it makes like a great burger too, like a tuna burger or tuna sandwich. 
that's like griddled in the pan. Just add a little cheese, kind of like a tuna melt, a tuna patty melt. And I love this recipe because you can easily double or triple it. So if you have some hearty eaters at home or you have a big family, this is easy to make bigger portions or make a larger amount without adding too much to the grocery budget. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick and then we're gonna go over the skillet and cook these up. I'm going to melt the butter with the olive oil in the skillet over medium high heat. Once your butter is melted and your olive oil is shimmering, or if you're just using olive oil and your olive oil is shimmering and hot, you can add the tuna patties to the skillet and then just cook them for about two to three minutes. And then once they're golden brown and crispy, give them a flip and then cook for another two to three minutes. Transfer to a platter and then you're ready to eat. Our tuna patties are done. They're nice and crispy and golden. I'm just gonna serve them on like a bed of pea shoots. So these are like light and crisp. They're from a local farm here, Taproot Farms. If you do a CSA, they might actually be in your CSA share. Let's put them there on the plate. These are already washed. And then I'm just gonna put, just do one. And then a little lemon, I like to serve it with a little lemon. You can squeeze it over top right before you eat. And then I love this sauce from Trader Joe's. It's called Magnifi Sauce. It is magnificent. And you can do like a little squirt on top or all over your plate. And then maybe like a sprinkle of parsley. And now I'm gonna just take a bite. You can kind of hear the crispness when you put the pork in it. Mm. That is so good. It's a little creamy from the mayonnaise, but you can taste that lemon really coming through. It is perfect in every way. So easy to make, crispy, buttery, and the tuna is like not overpowering. Very, very good. If you like this recipe, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. For more easy recipes, visit thesuburbansoapbox.com. Thanks again.